In this video I will share with you three ways on how the world is influencing us as women to behave low value and live a sad life by sugarcoating it and making it look glamorous. Hello, my name is Greta Berishita. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value woman secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and on Sunday is my little sister that's doing the videos. And just before I will share with you how the world is influencing us to be low value, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you a woman of high value or low value which I will drop down in the video description box below and if you like my merch, cheese goals and not the drama as always you can get it in my YouTube store. So without further ado, I wanted to discuss these few topics with you. So the number one topic that I would like to address is that we are really influenced nowadays to believe that we are the same, that men and women are not different. Therefore, what's happening nowadays, men are really influenced by um, dating coaches and relationship coaches and just people in general and by the world, by social media and etc to play hard to get with women. The belief that a man should not be pursuing a woman is spreading really really fast and a lot of women are suffering from it because in order for a woman to feel safety and security, in order for a woman's love needs to be fulfilled, she needs to feel strong pursuit from a man. In the Bible it says it's it's a man that finds his wife, therefore it's a man that should be pursuing a woman. Or even if you're non-religious and you believe in science or if you look just at the nature, you can see that men need to pursue women based on their hormones, based on their testosterone levels. Men really appreciate things that we need to work hard for. Men are naturally goal-focused, we are naturally goal oriented because of their hormones men are naturally bigger hunters than women are. They are strong pursuers because of their hormonal levels to achieve things in life. As women on the other hand we don't have these type of testosterone levels. We are more relationship focused. We are more emotional. We are not pursuit orientated. Actually pursuing and chasing makes us feel vulnerable, makes us feel insecure. We look for a man that gives us safety and security, not makes us feel insecure. On top of that, if we look at the animal kingdom, we can clearly see that it's a male pursuing a female, a bird dancing for the female bird. This is how the nature is designed for people to live happy and fulfilling lives. Anyway, because of a lot of wrong advice given nowadays, men and women are stuck with each other because we are not fulfilling each other's love needs. When you don't fulfill each other's love needs, the relationship cannot move forward. So we are stuck with each other by not fulfilling each other's love needs, by playing games and complaining about each other, yet we still want one another because we were designed initially for two to become one. Number two outside influence that I see a lot nowadays. Just a terrible, terrible advice and it does not work is telling people to be vulnerable. When I hear this advice, it literally hurts my soul. Because how can you influence people, be vulnerable with each other and wear their hearts on a sleeve when you live in this world where you have wars going on, where you have people taking advantage of each other, where you have people manipulating one another, where you have people hurting one another. Why would you influence somebody to be vulnerable 
and wear their hearts on a sleeve. So you would stay naive and the other people could use you more and manipulate you more and play more games with you. You know ladies, even in the relationships, Yes, ideally we should be with somebody that we can fully trust and when you're married, hopefully you're with a guy that you can fully trust who will always be there for you. That's the kind of a whole intention behind it. Saying this, we as humans, we are all broken. Nobody is perfect. You will never find that perfect wife and you will never find that perfect husband because it does not exist. The world has evil, the world has good, the world is broken. It's a constant power in this world between good and evil. There are no perfect human beings here. Only God is perfect. So when you are influenced with your boyfriend or your husband or your friends or your family members to wear your heart on a sleeve and to be vulnerable, keep it in mind that you are not sharing these vulnerabilities with someone who is perfect. You are sharing your secrets and your vulnerabilities with someone who is also damaged and even if that person seems like the most gentle and the most loving person, that person could easily turn around a couple years later and share all your secrets, share all your vulnerabilities with others or use and manipulate you on that. It is Please be smart if you have vulnerabilities, if you have insecurities, which we all do as we are not perfect human beings. Work on them and in the meantime, guard your heart. Be smart. Because this place that we are living in is not perfect. Number three tip that really annoys me nowadays and by the way everything I'm sharing with you ladies I've been in this trap myself right for number and number of years. Create your own rules right you're the creator of your own life you're the creator of your own rules. Rules are meant to be broken. Enjoy the moment live it to the fullest you only have one life. Ladies, when you have this type of mindset that rules were created because they're meant to be broken and that you only have one life, the focus of this type of mindset is you. Everything is about you and for yourself. This type of mindset really aligns with another type of saying which is put yourself first, these two go hand in hand. As putting yourself first is all about you, you, you and your own needs as well. This is a very dangerous mindset to follow as by following this type of mindset, you are slowly coaching yourself by practicing it and by following the habits of this type of mindset to become a very selfish, self-obsessed person. When you become self-obsessed by doing self-love affirmations, putting yourself first, creating your own life, creating your own rules, gradually, slowly, even if your intention wasn't this before, you stop caring about others less and less and less and you slowly start to get more and more obsessed towards yourself. Ladies, then in life you become selfish and everything is about you and your own world, you start damaging your relationship with others, right? You start damaging your relationship with your guy as you're just becoming super selfish. 
you start damaging your relationship with others you start hurting others as you don't care about these people anymore so your relationships become broken over time these broken relationships they drop off and a lot of times people that follow this type of mindset they literally end up living by themselves I think this is where the saying is lonely on top came from because people that are very successful they usually you know they keep putting themselves first they keep putting their business first towards everything that we do and you know the, the faster business grow the more you have to do the more you have to work and people around you they just see that you don't have time for themselves anymore because all about just you your life your world your business and step by step slowly you do end up being by yourself all your own world with all your own rules with all your own selfish gains all the materialistic things which originally maybe was your ultimate goal but now you're lonely on top all by yourself my advice ladies would be don't create your own rules don't create your own life don't separate yourself out the rules are already created the rules of living a meaningful life are already there you just need to open yourself up for them don't put yourself first in front of others so you're not becoming a selfish person don't put yourself behind others so people are not taking you for granted love others as you love yourself focus on living a balanced life focus on following the truth focus on following the rules that are already there for you to follow in order to live a happy and balanced life so ladies, these are my thoughts on how the world and society is influencing us to live a low value and actually sad life by making it sound glamorous and sugarcoating it. Please, please be wary and please don't fall into this trap as it will not lead you anywhere good or healthy. So if you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join Greta's High Value Women School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or a member of my team or if you would like to join one of my incredible VIPs, book us through my website which is called gretaberishita.com. And thank you for watching. Kisses from Dorset. Mwah.